Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Civilization V as Babylon on Immortal, where you can see the difficulties kind of slapping me in the face. As now, Sweden is at war with me, and surely things are only going to get better. Probably, maybe, but last episode ran a little long, so we're going to jump right in and continue this war. So did I lose Nippur by going after the artillery in another unit? Maybe. No, it's still holding. That's good. As we have even more artillery, and now the city is surrounded, so now I do have a bit of a problem here. But I'm still at three happiness, so that's a plus. And... Can we be friends again, please? Seven. Five. Yeah, you know what, I'll take that. Because I need that gold per turn. Alright, so negative 13 gold. That's something. Jakarta, not quite there yet. Still in rebellion for five turns. This is an interesting game, though. I have to say that. Cannot complain about how entertaining this game has been. Alright, so how many units can I kill? That is a good question. Can probably kill you. Let's see, I can definitely kill you. I can probably kill you before too long. Maybe. Can't do that this turn, unfortunately, due to zone of control issues. So we're gonna have to kill you like this. Can't attack twice, but. Here. Can I kill you right now? Yeah. You'll probably die from an artillery shot, but hell, I don't need the upkeep at this point. So I've swept a cod pretty well. Let's go ahead and start moving my armies down. This is not the defensive struggle I was expecting here. Can I actually move you out of range? No, not out of range of the artillery. So I've only begun to fight as they say. So I can still bombard somebody here. Biggest threat, still the artillery. So let's actually... See, attacking the artillery puts me in a... puts me in bombard range. And that's not good. So we may just have to stick with... Uh... Let's see here. Yeah, that's, that's a tough call. Is that I'm parlaying on hoping that these aircraft, triplanes and bombers, don't destroy this infantry that's right next door. But it's also infantry. It has attack strength of 70, so we'll see. I have more infantry on the way now that I'm rebuilding again, so it's a plus. Unit needs order still. Let's take you on a little longer. Want peace yet? Yes, sir. You're eagerly anticipating my unconditional surrender? Well, that's nice. And if you're going to actually accept peace in this raid, can I do any more damage to you? Because that's the thing with the AI, is that he's at a pretty good advantage, but I have more than enough units, and I'm not going to get a penalty for him attacking me. So I don't want Nippur to fall, and I don't really want to waste my time with the war much longer. I already have some repairs I have to do. And uh, my civilization needs to kind of lick its wounds a little bit. But if that's the best push he has right now, I have one of two ways that I can do this. I can go atomic theory, build Manhattan Project, make an atomic bomb, and just scare him off from going to war again. Or I can let his units try and push through again. He's actually able to make a pretty sweet carpet of doom, as I said. Uh, I think it's. I think the most important thing right now is just going to be to try my best to rebuild my empire and get my infrastructure back in order. So let's go ahead and move over here. And Ivan the Terrible doesn't really need to do a lot right now. So yeah, let's negotiate peace. Yeah, Your so complete capitulation sounds reasonable. And what would you suggest? And very well, there we go. So back to neutral. And so they see us as a threat. We're at war, they're back down here. 
If that's his, like I said, if that's his best shot, I'm okay. But I'm going to need to start building up some more military, obviously. And i got to watch out because I have a feeling England is going to uh, have a good time here. So still no production, obviously, because they're still in revolt. But now this does open the door for me to uh, get it, the civil resistance back here. And so let's see here. While Akkad's building infantry is a decent thing, we want you to get some cargo ships. Probably first. So there we go. Another war fought off, especially with, oh my god, I still have crossbowmen. But what can you do, you know? Alright, so we are going to let these infantry slide just a little bit. Museum, not maybe as important as some other things. Plus one golden production. Yeah, seaport is a really good idea here. Actually, yeah, I don't have any production on that right now. I have all the production on the infantry. So let's ditch the museum. And what else can I build? I want some I want some faith. So temple's gonna be good. Windmill's gonna be good for production. Factory's gonna be very important for production, actually. So we'll get the factory there. And yeah, I need to start building research labs at some point. So we have a research lab starting in Nippur. Babylon, we'll still get the one Great War Bomber. Then probably another research lab. And then a cod, two cargo ships, shrine lighthouse, and eventually research labs. It's a really long queue. But it's okay. Alright. Decent enough research lab after all of this. Still think a stock exchange may not be terrible here. Plus three gold. Yeah, this is kind of my gold city right now. So we'll make that work. So let's hear, killed an English spy. Let's let this slide. So see, now I'm in better like shape with my neighbors and everything. Okay, they're, they believe in freedom, so they're going to be pissed at me, but... We fought together against a common foe, and we've adopted order. You've been at war in the past, but they don't seem to hold a grudge. <laughs> we've fought against a common foe, so see, I'm working, I'm licking my diplomatic wounds here, and maybe order will be the way that I can get. Uh, is, is it going to be a space victory? It may have to be at this point. Like I said, Immortal allows you to play a little sloppier than notice. Deity. Okay, so I forgive you. Ragusa has a new ally. Canterbury's starting to send some triplanes. And they're actually almost done with their Great Walls of Babylon here, so I can start looking at possibly trying to uh, build myself up here. So let's hear. I will want refrigeration. I will want penicillin. So we'll do this nuclear fission then if I go into the information area and I start going for uh, satellites we'll want to do that afterwards because I'm going to be popping some great scientists here before too long we'll get even more once I get some specialists but I just want to find where everything is and right now let's see I have some repairs to do so where's my worker start by repairing the oil yeah I'm okay I have a uh, if we look at the info attic one more time I do actually have a decent sized army for what I need so it's your active military duty I'm actually below India now but I knocked Sweden down a bunch of pegs so that's a plus so that's here you get drill and you didn't die you get drill and you didn't die artillery just gets to stay on alert Fortify until healed, fortify until healed. Ivan, you get to go to sleep. How close am I to another great general? Not close at all. All right. Still the desert coal mine. I have coal. I have one factory. I need some more factories. So we'll get there. And probably a good idea to uh, start swapping out some of my defenses. Maybe not this turn. So let's see here. I, 
I am at negative seven gold right now. I need some more trade routes. And then I need to focus on developing my economy a little bit. But I may be able to, that may be one of the last conflicts I needed to fight. Unless I decide I need to go after Stockholm. And that could be a uh, nuke and XCOM squad style of mission. Because right now with the great scientists that I have, I'm going to be able to maintain a tech lead. That will probably allow me to build a uh, space station or something. The issue is that I don't have awesome production. So let's see here. Anything else that we can do? If I build a trading post there, it probably kills the bananas. So yeah, there's not there's not too much more for this worker to do. So let's go ahead and head on west. All right, we'll just keep you on alert right now. Border patrol. What amazes me is that none of none of these got pillaged, none whatsoever. Not really sure why or how. Wait, I need. Are those actually not worked by workboats? Maybe they were at one point and then the workboats got obliterated, so. We do need some workboats. And we're actually. We'll knock that infantry down real quick and we'll let the bank finish because gold is important. Even though I'm spending a lot on maintenance right now. Yeah, not too shabby. And yeah, probably not an awful time to call this episode too. So we've gone from peace, peace, peace to, oh my god, so much war. But what ha tends to happen in this kind of game is that at least because you, you just gotta, this is where Info Addict and uh, Enhance UI is really nice. Is that, yes, I have, uh, I do have some diplomatic penalties with some things. I do have some problems, but you can clearly track where you've improved your relations with some people. So that's kind of something to hold on to just a little bit here. Adopting order has helped me out quite a bit. And we'll see what the future holds for this game. If there's victory in the cards, like I said, it's been not the neatest, cleanest game I've ever had. Not even close. I've made quite a few errors and blunders. But that's how it goes. So let's see here. We want to actually take you all down here. Sweden's. I'm a little worried that Sweden's actually going to go try and fight me. But if he's still at war with Rome, there we go. Is he actually trying to take Belgrade? Hmm. That's not awesome. But Belgrade is a, is a friend of Rome, so... That could be another potential person for me to uh, get back and help. So, Like I said, this time I want to be prepared in case there is a strike. But now I'm at minus 36 gold. That's not fun. Probably, I probably just lost a trade route somewhere. All right, so we'll keep this here. I don't feel like I need this many workers. I probably don't, but I'm almost at the point of uh, getting atomic theory. Maybe I'll just see where the uranium is and call it an episode. So it's your cargo ship. Yeah, that would be how I lost my gold per turn. Is that my trade route ended? So it's here. Roman coop and Almady ousted the English supporters and installed their own people. Okay, that's fine. They're not my friends. At least it wasn't me. And Ur has a new ally and has declared war on Gustav. So Rome is apparently trying to buy out everybody and go the diplomatic route for victory. Have to keep that in mind, see if I can knock him down a few pegs. I have spare luxury resources. If I can just get on better terms with people. Like once the denunciations are all gone, maybe things will work. Let's see here, like I don't have I thought I had more wine. Do I need to reconnect some wine or something? Or is it all just being exported right now? Two exports, so they don't need wine. All right. We'll see if Rome actually wants to trade the wine for dyes. No. You want wine? Does China want wine? 
My military is kind of the laughing stock. My military actually held off one of the largest armies in the game. But yeah, laughing stock's fine. You call it what you want. So cargo ship. Actually, you know what? Now that I have Jakarta, let's actually see what the highest gold I can get is. Jakarta to Malacca. Wow, Jakarta to Malacca is my biggest one. That can't be right. There we go. Uh, Dura to London, which I'm already working. That one's working. I thought Jakarta would maybe have a few more ones. Do I still have a quest for a trade route with Genoa? So let's see if we can do a trade route with Genoa. Probably not going to be able to do it from here. Should be able to do it from Jakarta, though. And work boat over here. And that'll give me even more gold. So now we're plus 22. And upcoming world ideology order is probably what's going to pass. I don't know about citrus. Banning citrus is kind of funny, but that's Rome just trying to piss me off at this point. So we'll see. All right, so farm here. Like I said, I'm just going to see what uranium I get, if any. And we'll call it the day. I know my episodes have been running a little long lately, but I hope you don't mind. I, th I feel like it's entertain it's an entertaining game. Greetings, comrade. I'm C. Please to follow to order. Perhaps we can find some opportunity to aid each other during our Empire's next five-year plans. Oh, five-year plans. Like, it's just a casual thing that we're going to play some dice. Really? Okay. Uh, China now declaring war on me. You know what I love about China declaring war on me? You know what I love about India declaring war on me? And I probably have a feeling that Indian's going to try and dogpile in just a second. Okay, first off, great science is born. Secondly, this trade route is probably a terrible idea now. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to get plundered. So we'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and... Uh, if I trade with anybody, I guess I can trade this direction and probably be okay. See, if I go to Genoa, that's the thing, is that I really, I really want to go to Genoa. I can still get the quest, I think, for Genoa. It's probably not going to be plundered this turn. Wow, all the way around the world. That's how we get around the world with the trade route. So Gandhi, city-states near me is Mombasa. So India and whoever's now friends. So they all hate my warmongering, so they go to war with me. Where in the hell is Mombasa? Let's find out. We're at war. You are nowhere near me. So this is... This is India being pissed that I took out Jakarta when he couldn't. And he does have three aircraft stationed. So we'll see what we can do about that. Trade caravan. Previous route to Babylon. Let's just get some trade relations this way. Alright, so I said I wanted to wait. But this is probably as good of a time as any to stop and see. So we'll just pop. Discover here. Get atomic theory. We get uranium. There we go. And we're in the atomic era before anybody else, so... Uranium, we have some... Ur Ooh, two uranium near Surabaya. So that's good. That's real good. Hopefully England doesn't think that the, it's a good idea to get war on me or something, but... Yeah, if everybody wants to have their turn trying to fight me, they can. That's fine. Let's line on up. My score's pretty low, though, compared to my opponents, and you'd think that maybe my score could get higher eventually. Like, my science output is still good, but I really need to get my research labs online to put it, push it over the top at this point. My happiness is not awesome. Fortunately, I didn't have trade deals going from here to there, so I have hostile people, neutral people, neutral people, uh, and I don't know if he's building up for something or not, but I do have my research labs starting to get online. Safi, I guess, is going to need to come back over here. And yeah, we're going to call that a turn for now. Interesting turn of events. So everybody loves me, and now everybody wants to fight me. We'll see how it goes in the future, but at least that's it for now. This is a way to fail with more Civ Five. If nothing else, even if I'm not playing so greatly, let's turn that into a mine instead of a trading post. Awkward. Okay, almost done. 
But yeah, I mean, here we go. It's Civ Five. It's not the same game every time, so that's part of the fun. But I hope you enjoyed watching it. We'll see if China actually gets to do anything to me, or if I can buy somebody else into war with China, perhaps, or if India is going to be able to do anything. They might. They might not. I don't know. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.